headquarters, the Transportmaschinen Export Import Foreign Trade Enterprise of the German Democratic Republic, 108 Berlin. No, siinä on todennäköisesti se, että se ei tule samaan aikaan. Että se... Paskohan se on, ei, se, voi, ei, se voi viipyä jonkun jonkun Niin, niin mutta, se on, mutta se on tuota, niin sytytysajankohta, se on säädetty eri tavalla kuitenkin, että siinä on, siinä on millin puolen heitto tuota, aina. Niin, mutta eihän se, siis, se mikä siellä aktuaalisesti siellä sylinterissä tapahtuu siellä Joo, mutta elektronin osa, niin, välissä niin, tulpassa, niin, niin, niin se, se, sen ajoitus voi mihinkään muuttua sillä tulpassa. <köhön> Joo, ei, mutta se on se, on se lämpöarvo on kuitenkin sitten se, että se, se kone käy niin kuin tiettyyn lämpöön. Ja se tuluppa siis tavallaan vaikuttaa siihen. Ainoastaan jotain semmoista mä voisin ymmärtää, että jotain semmoista muutosta voisi olla ihan ja äärimmäisissä olosuhteissa. Siis se, se, että on se lämpö, lämpö siirtyy eri tavalla siihen sylinterin kanteen. Niin, niin, aivan. Mm. aivan siis, niin. Vernünftig, Gabi. Du kannst doch nicht so losfahren. Und wie ich kann. Damit du meine Hexe mit dem Sturzhelm siehst. Mensch, ich lieb dich doch. Ich lieb dich wirklich. Hau ab! Glaub mir doch, ich hab dich von Anfang an geliebt. Geh aus dem Weg, du. Du Mann, du! Eine Melodie auf allen Straßen. MZ. Motorräder aus Chopau. Die Enterprises in Suhl und Chopau provide a large series production program Rich in variants, ranging from Simson motor-assisted bikes and MZ motorbikes of displacement categories from 50 to 250 cubic centimeters. Simson and MZ series machines are suited to various purposes. The technicians make good use of a wealth of experience gained in cross-country racing when working on new designs. Es geht hier nicht um zu schnell, es geht ums Fahren. Für Urlaub und Camping MZ 175 und 250 Kubikzentimeter aus Chopau. Leistungsfähig, zuverlässig. The MZ name has been around for many years, but they've never been very well known for making stylish looking bikes. Perhaps now things are about to change. But MZ say they've aimed this at the rider who wants to be a little different. Well, yeah, I can see that. And obviously they're not too bothered about having a fancy designer name on the petrol tank. 
Its looks are definitely towards the sporty end of the market, although the riding position is not too focused. As for touring ability, it's definitely got potential, and MZ have kindly designed some dedicated hard luggage for those foreign trips. <laughs> <laughs> Simson and MZ have proved their worth in sports. They are reliable everywhere and always. Simson and MZ, dashing and stylish motorbikes from the German Democratic Republic. Many years ago when I worked in the city I used a little 125cc motorbike for going to and from the office. It was a great little bike, you know I used it every single day, rain, hail, snow, whatever, it never let me down. And people used to say, what do you ride? And I'd say, oh it's a little German thing. And they'd say, yeah what is it? Oh it's a little German 125 I'd say. The truth is, I was embarrassed to say that I rode an MZ, because many years ago MZ had the reputation that Lada had in the car world, they were the Lada of the bike world. People knew they were good, but not a lot of people like to admit to actually riding one. Well, this is one of the latest offerings from MZ, and as you can see, things have changed a bit. The MZ company itself has changed too over the years. The present setup was founded on July the 1st, 1992, but its history can be traced back more than 70 years. In 1992, a private investor was found and the present company, MZ GmbH, was formed. Yes, this is a single cylinder Yamaha motor or an Ein Zylinder if you want the German version. It says MZ down here on the side casing there, but to take no notice of that, that's what they call badge engineer. Something else that isn't German is the suspension. It's white power, and as you would expect on this style of bike or any modern bike these days, fully adjustable single monoshock there. These brakes here, they're not German either. They're Gramica calipers. It says Gramica there. Now they're made in Spain. Ha, ah, here it is. This is the German bit. Well, it is to me anyway. It's German style and it reminds me of a BMW. It should you as well with this long sort of beak on the front here. <laughs> Eine Melodie auf allen Straßen. MZ. Motorräder aus Zopau. Oh, 
Wagen zu Hause. Keine Lücke. Wie üblich. Warum nehmen Sie nicht die? Die MZ 125 und 150 Kubikzentimeter aus Chopau. With the MZ on a big journey. Riding on a motorbike is a particular way of traveling. The genuine motorcyclists appreciate the indescribable feeling of independence, the direct contact with the landscape, the great feeling of driving down unknown roads and lanes. Traveling thousands of kilometers on the MZ motorbike is really no hazard. Sixty years of experience, both in the development and the production of two-stroke motorcycles, have merged with the modern technical knowledge of the MZ manufacturers. The demanding tests at international motorcycle competitions are followed by bench tests. Many elements of the racing bikes, which proved successful during the competitions, will soon be taken over by large-scale series production. Every new design, every new model, is subject to many-sided and careful tests at the nationally owned Chopau Motorbike Works. victories, European championship titles, and a big number of important MZ successes in international motorcycle competitions have for many years been convincing proof of the paramount quality of the motorbikes made in Chopau. Riders will soon realize, particularly on long journeys, that these motorbikes have been developed, constructed and manufactured for motorbike riders by motorbike riders, by experienced experts, clever engineers and skilled workers who know how important it is to rely on one's motorbike everywhere and every time. MZ on a big journey means to travel with friends because MZ motorbikes are faithful, easy to ride and absolutely reliable.
Silloin se pitää niin kuin kaikki nämä palotapat, että se niin kuin... Ja silloin just jossain tarkoittaa hakea sitä viimeistä, että sillä ajetaan tuppinuri tuolla ja kierrätetään ylös, niin tota, kaikki laitettu ja... Mut sitten voi olla, että onko pakoputki oikealla, niin onko kaasuti oikealla, niin onko se suutti... Mut tulpalla ei voi vaikuttaa millään lailla minun mielestä siihen, että aina... Mut siinä vaiheessa sillä voi sitten vaikuttaa, jos sanotaan, että sillä haetaan, että... Sun m pitäisi saada 35. Niin tota, silloin on, sitten voidaan ehkä jo puhua... Ei tulppa, ei synny. The nationally owned bicycle and motorcycle industry of the German Democratic Republic has participated for many years in the big international cross-country events in European and World Championships. The successes gained there established and consolidated the renown of the Simpson and MZ trademarks. Frame, engine, every technical detail of a racing machine must stand up to the toughest testing. Only top drivers on top machines have a chance of success against the international competition. Tiedustelu tai tämmöistä asiakas sieltä. Joo, joo. Näissä on ollut sitä, se, että se on pensapunkki. Oletteko te siihen, että se on se viimeinen kysymys. Se on yksi sellainen valima. Mutta ne palasta kasvattaa. Mä näin siellä Saksassa kuoli, niin se on muistaakseni Englannissa ja Oranssi. Onnettomasti kuoli. Tuossa on vielä vuosi sitten, kun oli katto. Se oli niin ovela sitten, että se niin kuin... Ei se voinut sanoa suoraan, että teillä on ollut ongelmia, koska ihminenhän voi ruveta silloin antaa aivan vääränlaisia tietoja. Se ei kerro rehellisesti. Such was MZ's chief engineer Walter Carden. He spent 10 years footering with the two-stroke engine and turned it from a lawnmower into the fastest motorbike in the world. His ingenious device, the harmonic expansion chamber, allowed much of the exhaust fumes to be ejected from the cylinder before the fresh air in the fuel mixture is pumped in. Ipso facto, more mixture, more power. In the early 60s, Walter Carden's MZs were cleaning up on the European Grand Prix circuit, and the opposition seemed unable to come up with anything to match the flying machines. It was Suzuki who finally solved the problem. They borrowed it. In a pre-arranged deal with the Japanese, Ernst Degner, the MZ's premier rider at the time, mysteriously disappeared halfway through the 1961 Swedish Grand Prix. In fact, Degner had established enough of a lead to be completely out of sight on the far side of the track, where he simply drove off a slip road and into the welcoming arms of the Suzuki rep. Ernst had also had the forethought to stuff his racing jacket with a complete set of the MZ's engineering specifications. Alan Shepard was there that day, riding for the MZ team. He can still remember what a body blow Degna's defection was for MZ, and for his friend Walter Carden in particular. Had Ernst Degna finished in the 125 race in the Swedish Grand Prix at Kristianstad, Walter would have got a first place in the Motorcycle Road Race World Championship. That man was dedicated, and he was an absolute genius. Although fundamentally they've never improved on Carden's original designs, Japanese motorbikes have ruled the world ever since, and the Swedish Grand Prix signaled the beginning of the end for the German, American and British bike industries as they all collapsed in the face of advancing Japanese technology. BSA did manage one very successful machine during this period, 
the beautiful little Bantam, so favoured by the postman of Britain, as I recall. BSA sold 400,000 of them, all equipped with a Walter Carden MZ engine. Meanwhile, back in East Germany, my spies told me there were still a few bikes from the original MZ factory to be found. My information led me to the back streets of Chemnitz. Oh, yes. Oh, please. Oh, that's lovely. Gosh. It's a DKW uh -huh. from 1927. 27? 27. Oh, God. It's the gearbox is from England. Oh, really? What's the gearbox of? Yes. And we have many problems with British yeah. gearboxes. Oh, well, I apologize on behalf of everybody in Britain. <laughs> were two strokes quite common in the 20s then? I thought they were quite rare, the two strokes, you know. Two strokes, yes. Yeah. A bit of a language problem here. He was obviously stalling. When I pressed him further, he reluctantly led me through the workshops and out the back. Tension is small, way. Yeah. <laughs> is this some initiation ceremony? Am I going to have yeah. to do a funny handshake? Yeah. <laughs> Down at the bottom of the garden. It's an old fire yeah. office here. Aha. Uh -huh. Shame they haven't any spares, eh? <laughs> Lordy. Lordy, Lordy, yeah. So, and here's it's uh, uh -huh. our office. Oh, boy. And people think yes. I do this for the money. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Many money. <laughs> Are you sure you've got enough now? <laughs> Lordy. Yes, this is... This, this is the bike? Yes, yes, this bike. It's a new from Chemnitz, from Chopau. We can this bike, we can it... Yeah, let's go, let's do okay, it. OK, OK. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I must say, I could okay. spend a day in here looking around. Well, you don't have to Okay, you. OK. So. Handsome bike. This one's gorgeous as well. That's just. Oh. I could move in, you know. <laughs> I just have my bed in the corner. <laughs> Sad, isn't it? <laughs> no! Uh, on the swing up. up Behind the bike shed, he hastily whispered the directions to the MZ factory and wished me what I interpreted as good luck. Even as I left, I knew we'd never meet again. Oh, there you go. Hey! A fantastic noise. Good boy. When I finally found the MZ factory, it was empty and derelict. Well, there you go. Poor old MZ went the same way as a lot of them in the 60s. Norton, Triumph, AJS, Velocet, BSA. Se muuttaa sitä kärjellisessä on näitä keskipako säätimiä. Niin kuin ESS oli. Tämä on edelleen. Vanhassa ESS on. Mutta sillä kuitenkin se lähtee käyntiin, kun se on se ennakko. Hyvin pieni. Ja sitten se muuttaa jonnekin kuuteen milliin silloin, kun se kiertää joku 5000. Ja silloin se pitää kaikki nämä palotapahtumat. Ja silloin just jossain...